yeah, what's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ. And absolutely, we're going to get into episode nine recap of Insecure. This is called Out, okay? And yeah, we got a whole lot of details. I feel like the closer we get to the end, the more details are coming out through these episodes. So let's get it popping. All right, so we see Issa and your boy Nate. What are they doing? They are looking at a new apartment, a two-bedroom apartment. Looks real nice, real spacious. And they're talking about how nice it is. You know, the guy's showing them around. You know, it's way more space going on. And they're absolutely, you know, really looking into moving into this spot. You know, Nate is definitely feeling it. And they're both really liking what's going on. He's like, do we really need two bedrooms? And she's like, yeah, you know, this could be the office space. Or a space where, you know, we can go if we get mad at each other. And he's like, how are we going, you know, have makeup? How are we really going to make up, you know, with being in separate rooms? So they look at uh, another bathroom. And she's like, yeah, you know, you can definitely, you know, shave in here and all this and that. And make a mess. And he's like, well, I don't know about a mess or nothing like that. Like, you know, who you've been living with, right? And of course, she's like, mm, right? Only other person she ever lived with. Other person was Lawrence. Of course, that brings up Lawrence to her memory. So they're like, yo, this is real nice. I'm feeling it. And yeah, we should just go ahead and make this move, you know, because they're really getting close and things are going real well. You know, it looks like things are really coming together for these two after all this time, after everything they've gone through. Right. So they go ahead and ask for that application. They ask the guy, hey, OK, we ready to apply. He's like, well, you know, uh, I just rented this spot out five minutes ago. I didn't want to disturb your whole dream and everything else like that. Of course, they're like, man, you should have told us a while ago. Like, what's going on? <laughs> they just real mad because they had all the dreams of this spot, right? So now we at the office. We got Tori and we got Molly and the crew. And, you know, they're like, yeah, you know, Malcolm called you in, Tori. And, you know, everything okay? Everything all right? And he's like, yeah, you know. And she's like, what? What? They They forgot some paperwork or whatever. And he's like, nah, it wasn't that at all, right? So he's just kind of standing there, not really saying anything. And they're looking at him like, okay, why don't you tell us what's going on? And, you know, mine's like, what, did you become partner? Did they offer you partner or something like that? And he's just standing there just looking. He ain't really saying nothing. You know, she's looking at her man, but, you know, they're in the office. They're trying to be cool. So he's just like, didn't. he's not really saying anything, but he looks like he's, smirking or whatever so she's like oh you did they did offer you partner congratulations right so molly she's excited and you know that's a man but they're trying to keep it really on the low professional you know so she hugs him hugs up on him and she's like oh this is awkward okay come on girls y'all not gonna come in for this group hug <laughs> so you know she makes it a group hug this way it won't be awkward I don't think anybody knows that they messed around in the office. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows that they're like together and they're working on a relationship. So they're like, okay, congratulations. And he's like, yeah, congratulations, Carter. Calls her by a last name. And they do this awkward stare thing <laughs> and they just like leave. And of course, you know, the ladies are like, they messing around? He's like, yeah, they messing around. <laughs> they don't know, but they're like, yeah, they messing around. Now you got your boy Lawrence and his cousin and they talking and he's looking for a new spot. And, you know, his cousin's like, yeah, you you the only guy over 30 still growing, right? Making jokes. And he's like, yo, you going to go to this party? And Lawrence is like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He's like, why? He's like, because Issa's going to be there. It's like, Issa's going to be there. What's wrong with that? He's like, I don't know. I don't want things to be awkward. And he was like, yeah, whatever. It, sh it shouldn't even matter to you, like, for real, like. It shouldn't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she left you and you ain't really do nothing about it. You know what I mean? And he's like, what? What are you talking about? He, and his cousin is giving him the real. Like, you don't only got to kind of like let life happen to you. You know, you don't really take control of your life. So he really getting at him. He's like, what do you mean by that? You know, and he's like, yeah. It's like, she left. You ain't do nothing. Like, if you would have did something like, you know, me. In order to make up with my girl, I would have did everything in my power to make up with my girl. Like, you got to do something about it. But whatever. He's like, all right. So they, he's going to go to a party anyway. So now we at the party. We at Tiffany and Derek's going away party. And they at the house. They're showing old pictures of Issa and Molly and everything with her braces. Um, and, yeah, 
they show up. Nate and Issa shows up, and they're showing these old pictures. I feel like this is kind of like a before the end type of send off type of thing, but it's Tiffany and Derek's like send off party because you know they're going to Denver. You know he got that promotion, and he's pretty excited about it. And yeah, you know Tiffany's kind of really kind of dealing with going, but she doesn't really want to go. She doesn't really want to leave, but she's very supportive of her man. So Issa and Nate, they're like, yeah, you know we got to think about this and think about that. Because we're consolidating, right? So Kells is like, oh, y'all two are consolidating? Really? He's like, yeah, we uh, decided that we're going to move in together. So, of course, you know, they're happy for them. Things are moving. Things are progressing. And, you know, they're all for it. You know, Issa's girls, they definitely supportive of her. And, you know, Derek and Tiffany definitely are like, man, there's a lot of moves being made and a lot of progression. Meanwhile... Tori and the Molly show up, you know, looking like a nice couple, right? And they like, hey, and Molly's like, all right, now stop, okay? So she does the introductions. You know, she introduces Tori into the rest of the girls, then to Kelly, and, you know, just to everybody, you know, to kind of let everybody know, hey, and Molly's like, yeah, this is my man right here. And everybody's kind of like, yeah, this is, this is cool. It's a really good vibe. And Torian is acting real weird because he's holding this box in his hand and he's looking around and and he's 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 looking and he looks down and he sees, you know, somebody walking a child around the place. Right. So it's like, oh, you got a gift for us. And he's like, oh, this box. No, this is uh, this is garbage. I'm just looking for the garbage. Let me get rid of this garbage. Right. So she's like, they like that's weird. So they walk away, Molly and Tori, and she's like, what's going on? She's like, yeah, this is uh, an adult uh, treat. <laughs> and, you know, I, I kind of brought it to the party thinking that it would be that type of party, but it's really not. So he's kind of feeling awkward because he, he brought a, an, an adult treat. And, of course, Molly, she's all inclusive. So she's like, listen, you know, you got an adult treat. We might as well just go ahead and take this adult treat together and enjoy ourselves tonight. So they go ahead and they take... The adult treat together. Oh, boy. It's about to start up. Now we see little Elijah coming through to the party as well. And who's he coming through with? Of course, his parents, Lawrence and Condola. So they show up to the party, right, together. And Lawrence is looking around because he knows who's going to be there. And, yep, who's he see? He sees Issa talking with some folks so he's like okay well east is in the house but then she sees nate walk over with some drinks so of course i don't think he was expecting that but he got like that face like mm, like okay he's here too so condola she's noticing and seeing what's going on and you know <laughs> Lawrence is trying to kind of like play it off you know they're not together but he's trying to just be cool He's like, hey, it's all good. He's talking to little man, and little man's looking back at him. You know, and they they got it, they in a good place. So she's like, listen, I'm going to the bathroom. Can you take care of him? Can you hold on to him? So he's like, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So I want y'all to look at these cheese balls right here, because these must be real good, because everybody wanted a cheese ball, right? So the guy walks up to Issa and Nate's like, hey, would you like one, right? Now Issa, she was looking, right? She's looking at Lawrence with the baby and Condola and everything else like that. So she's not really paying attention, you know. And, uh, you know, Nate's like, you want a cheese ball? Just to get her attention. So she's like, yeah, I want a cheese ball, right? So she takes it and she puts it directly into her mouth. And the waiter's just like, hey, I want to tell you, it's it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. And she kind of like, it falls out of her mouth because it's too hot. Nate and Nate is just like he's cool about it. He's like, hey, don't worry about it, man. You know, what I'm saying he just takes another one for her, and he's like, you good? You all right? <laughs> you know, they kind of laugh about it. You know, Issa, right? And yeah, you know, Lawrence is over there with the baby. Of course, people coming over to see the baby, say hello to the baby, and then Nate notices that Lawrence is there, right? And Issa is noticing that he is noticing that he is there, so. Nate is like, oh, is that him? And she's like, yeah, that's him. He's like, oh, okay, so that's his baby and all of that, yeah. And uh, I didn't know he was coming. She's like, yeah, I didn't know he was going to be here. He's like, yeah, he came back. And he's like, oh, he, he moved back? Yeah, he moved back. 
Or did he move back? And, and Nate starts asking questions. He's getting real insecure about the situation. He's not really being like confident about it, like, oh, whatever. But he's like asking questions like, oh, he's back for him and the baby. And she's like, yeah. He's like, all right. So they go and get some drinks. But it's, it's clear that Nathan is uncomfortable with Lawrence being there, you know, knowing a little bit of history that he does. So Lawrence rolls up on the fellas. Tiffany wants to make an announcement. So as everybody gather around, she gathers Derek, you know, they're making their, getting ready to make their little speech or whatever, thanking everybody for coming. And, uh, you know, Tiffany kind of goes in and kind of thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, the fellas are there and, you know, Derek, he, he went ahead and thanked all the fellas and definitely named them by name. And, you know, they're definitely just thankful to everybody, just giving their love and thanks to everybody for their support. And, you know, they're going to go to Denver. And, of course, Kelly is talking. Uh, she's smiling or whatever. And Tiffany's talking about Kelly. <laughs> and she says, you know, Kelly, I believe that you would definitely die for us. And Kelly's like, yeah, I, I would die. I would I would die. I would I would kill Derek. Like, I would. <laughs> and she's just like, I would kill anybody for you, of course. And that's a girl, you know what I'm saying? They like best friends, you know? And then, yeah, Derek goes in and he talks about each one of the fellas. He's naming Lawrence and naming all of them. And, you know, they're just like, yeah, you know, we're your boys. And, of course, Issa is looking at your boy Lawrence, you know what I mean? Looking over and he's looking back. It's like, ah, you know, that, that connection is still there. I don't care what you say. The connection is still there. And she's looking dead in his eyes like, mm-hmm. And then Tiffany's like, yeah, and Issa, and she grabs Issa's attention. And she's like, thank you for just being one of a kind. And she's like, uh, thank you. <laughs> and she's like, uh, thank you for that compliment, I think. Right? So, you know, they're really just kind of celebrating this time together. And she goes, oh, and Dro is here. <laughs> Everybody remember Dro? Drows in the, in the last in the last season, right? And Molly's just like, oh sh. <laughs> she yells it out loud because you know Molly's, she had that adult treat, so she's kind of like animated right now. She's like, oh shoot, oh did I say that out loud? <laughs> so Joe was there with his little girlfriend, and he notices that she was like, oh shoot, right? So you know they're saying a little speech, and again, this episode should have been called body language because we're seeing a whole lot of. Body language going on, whether it's negative or positive, but we see that the love is definitely there, and Tiffany's definitely going to miss her girls, you know, and definitely Derek, you know, we're going to miss these guys, and so, you know, they raise their glasses, cheers, cheers to everybody, thanks for coming out now, and sending us off for a brand new life out in Denver, all right, so, you know, they all getting together, smiling and all of that, cheesing and all of that. And, you know, Tiffany is definitely happy, but not happy. You can tell, right? But the fellas are there and everything's cool, right? You know, his cousin's checking on Lawrence and everything's cool. So they sit down with Derek and they're like, yeah, you know, what are you really going to miss, you know, about L.A.? You're going to Denver, you, like you're going to be in a, you know, <laughs> in another place. And, uh, you know, all the fellas are talking and <laughs> your boy Nate is like, listen, man, I love good weather, Cali, but you got to lay off the barbecue. Right. So they're like, what? what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got some good barbecue here. And yeah, you know, Nate is just like, yeah, y'all got OK barbecue here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's OK, but y'all need to lay off of that. So they kind of going, you know, Lawrence is kind of going in like, nah, you know, I think. Our, our barbecue was good. You know what I mean? Our barbecue was good. And he's like, yeah, if you're from some other place, then, yeah, you might not like it. And Nathan's like, yeah, I'm from Houston. And they're like, oh, okay, we see. But Derek's like, yo, they got good meats out in Houston. And, you know, Nathan's like, yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do. We do got good barbecue out there. But here come your boy Lawrence, boy, with the mochismo. He's like, nah, I'm going to stick with L.A. barbecue is good. And Nate, they go kind of go back and forth. And Nate's like, yeah, it's all right, but it's not like Houston. You know what I mean? So they kind of, you know, their ego's going back and forth right now. You kind of feel the intensity kind of brew up, you know, and, and both of them are standing their ground. Like, 
But I feel like the barbecue discussion between them is basically a metaphor for Issa. And Lawrence is like, yeah, well, you know, where you from? Maybe the barbecue wasn't that good that it didn't keep you there. Right. So they're kind of going back and forth with this metaphoric, you know, conversation about barbecue. But I really think it was really like intensity for Issa. And everybody felt it. Definitely Tori is like, yo, this is very tense. Right. <laughs> this is very intense. So uh, one of the guys is like, hey, listen, you know, I need a haircut. Are you going to be available tomorrow? He's like, nah. Me and Issa are looking for apartments and he's looking directly at Lawrence and Lawrence is not happy to hear, but he's like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Tori is like, hey, listen, we can order barbecue right now for Postmates. <laughs> so, yeah, we see that there's some mochismo going on and these guys are not really feeling each other. We, we see that. We see that. So meanwhile, the girls are back in the kitchen. You know, they're talking, chopping it up, talking about how, you know, they're going to miss each other, going to miss Tiffany. And, you know, they're just like, hey, you know, Tiffany's like, hey, I spoke to Derek. I'm going to come back for your birthday. So, you know, they definitely trying to coordinate to see each other for each other's birthday. And and then Molly gets to talk and she's like, yeah, you know, we we definitely need to get together. And she started talking real weird and, <laughs> and she started talking about out of space and and this, that, a third. Of course, Issa's like, what the heck? You know, you can see her facial expression. Like, what is going on? And Molly's just going on and on about, yeah, time and space and this, that, and the third. And then all of a sudden, she starts laughing, right? And they kind of laughing with her, but she really starts to go in and starts hilariously, <laughs> like, cackling. Like, she's out of her mind, <laughs> and, you know, just laughing. And, and it's like, what is going on? And then Kelly just slaps her like, what? <laughs> it's like, pow. And she's like, I can't believe you just slapped me. And, you know, Kelly's like, yo, what is going on with you today? You've got to let us know what is happening with you. Uh-uh, this is weird. Why are you laughing all hysterically? And she's like, me and Torian took an adult treat. <laughs> and I'm just so, like out of space right now <laughs> right and you know kelly looking at it all mad she's like listen we're gonna be working together you know you gotta share what you guys are doing because i want an adult treat as well <laughs> and so you know tiffany's laughing they all laughing about it or whatever and guess who walks in condola and little elijah it's like talk about awkward <laughs> They're like, hey, what's going on? She's like, yeah, I'm just sitting here to get a little bottle, you know, get a bottle from the refrigerator for Elijah, right? So they're like, yeah, come on in. And Molly's like, yeah, you know, you're more than welcome. And they're like, listen, let's let's walk over here, right? So they kind of give Issa and Condola a little moment. So Issa is talking and she's like, hey, you know, good to see, you know, you and the baby and everything. And he's looking all cute. Baby's looking cute. And, you know, they're kind of like small talking it, but they're having like a nice cordial conversation. And it seems pretty peaceful. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, yeah, you guys are doing great as parents. You know, not that, you know, my opinion matters, you know, but you guys look like you're doing a great job with him. And and Condola's like, thank you. You know, she's like, thank you. And it seems like a really OK conversation for the first time they actually saw each other. In a long time. They haven't seen each other in a very, very long time. Even though they live in L.A. together. You know, it's just they're they're not really connected because, you know, what's happening with the Lawrence situation. So, you know, it's all good. And, you know, they're letting them know that things are going well. So, yeah, it was a nice conversation for the first time in a long time with these two. Of course, Condola leaves, and they looking at her like, okay, uh, I see you. You handled that pretty well. You know, y'all yeah, yeah, talked, and y'all yeah, yeah, finally, yeah, finally talked after all this time. So Molly comes out, and of course, who does she see? She sees your boy, Dro, getting some drinks. He's like, <laughs> real awkward, right? Again, this episode should have been called, you know, facial expressions, awkward body language, right? Because that's exactly what we're seeing here, right? So Dro... And Molly, they're talking and, you know, Dro is just like, yeah, I was going to call. And Molly just comes out and says, yeah, 
um, I heard about your divorce, <laughs> right? Because they all, you you know, Dro, his wife, and Molly used to have a thing going on. And Dro's like, surprised. He's like, yeah, my mama just be running her mouth. And he's like, yeah, you know, I, th I know things kind of ended a little awkward for us. And, you know, and she, Molly's just like, yo, it's all good. You know, I understand. It is what it is. But everything is cool now. And she's looking at, you know, this little girlfriend that he brought. And she's like, yeah, you know, it seems like, you know, your girlfriend's nice. And, you know, it seems like she is nice. And Dro is like, yeah, you know, your boy that you, you know, the guy that you brought, he seems cool too, right? <laughs> I mean, this is very tr a transparent episode here. And Molly's like, oh, you mean him? <laughs> and Tori is standing right by eating his little <laughs> treat or whatever. He's like, oh, what's going on? We, are you good? We good here? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you know, everything's good, right? And then Molly comes out and says, yeah, you know, me and Dro used to mess around. Him and his wife had an open relationship and we messed around, but things just didn't work out. And Dro is just like, uh, yeah, like, because <laughs> she went to like 102 seconds. And Tori, him being so cool and him having his adult treat or whatever, she's like, okay, that's cool. That's good. <laughs> like, he really is nonchalant about the whole situation. And Joe's like, okay, I'm going to go check on this girl. And again, you know, it's a real cool vibe between these two, man. I really like how they know each other for so long. They used to hate each other, but now they're like best friends, you know, they're like really best friends. So Issa goes over, sees Nate. He's on his phone. She goes and looks at some treats or whatever. She's trying to keep the vibe real cool. But it's obvious that Nate is really just not feeling what's going on. He's in Issa's environment. Lawrence is now here and he's really he is really feeling insecure about being there and with Lawrence being there. So she's trying to talk to him, but he's kind of like, ah, you know, oh, my boy's outside. He needs the keys to the barbershop. Let me go give him the keys. Right. And she's noticing that he's not really feeling the vibe. Right. So Lawrence, Condola and Eli are there. They're chopping it up. You know, Lawrence rolls over to the baby and them and. He's checking on the baby, and she's like, yeah, you know, me and Issa, you know, I went to go get a bottle, and me and Issa actually talked. So Lawrence is like, okay, so how did that really go, you know? Like, he's like, really, y'all had a conversation? And uh, Condola's like, yeah, it went pretty well, you know? For the first time, not talking a long time, uh, she seems real cool. And he's like, well, that's good, you know? He, he's really happy about that. You know, and she's like, yeah, it looks like Eli's done with the party. I'm going to go. And he's like, you sure? He's like, yeah. And he's like, you know, I'll, I'll take you back. And she's like, nah, just enjoy yourself. It's been a long time. You're not going to see them in a long time. You know, everybody's going to be going their separate ways. So enjoy that. He's like, all right. I mean, he didn't even walk out to the car. I would have at least walked them to the car. Right. So he's kind of just standing there all alone, looking down. But he knows that. He's going to have to do the inevitable, right? He's looking across the pool, across the way, and he sees Issa talking to Molly. Eventually, he is going to have to have that conversation. And he's talk he's thinking about what his cousin said to him about him just kind of like giving up and not really fighting for their relationship. So Nate goes outside, gives the keys to the barbershop cat because he always forgets his keys. And he's like, yo, how's it going? Is Molly in there? Da -da -da. He's like, yeah, she in there with a boyfriend. He's like, oh, good. He's like, you good? And Nate is just like, nah, I'm not really good because, you know, Issa's ex is in there. Lawrence is in there. And he was like, yo, I'm not really feeling that, B. Like, you know, like, you all right? He's like, yeah. He's like, yo, listen, we can go up in there and turn up, man. If he talking slick to you, we can go in there and turn up right now, you know, because you got to let cats know. Like, they can't just say anything to you. I don't care if they're the ex or not. So... He's like, nah, it's cool, man. I appreciate you having my back. It's all good. And he he definitely goes back into the party. I just put this up because I love sunsets. So I love California sunsets. <laughs> so now uh, we winding down to the nighttime where we see Molly and Torian. And we see uh, executive producer uh, Princeton. He makes an appearance or whatever. They're looking for treats. You know, this adult 
treat makes them more hungry. I say like, yo, let's go to the source of where this, where these appetizers come. We want some cheese balls, right? <laughs> so they go in and they see, ah, they're like, oh my God, look at all these treats. Look at the cheese balls. So they just go in. I mean, they just start eating all the appetizers right there on the spot. Torian and Molly, they are so like hungry because again, this thing makes you very hungry. You like, you want some snacks, you need treats or whatever. So <laughs> they going in, Molly's going in on the cheese balls. I mean, they are just loving all of it. It's like, <laughs> it's like ecstasy, right? They just like really enjoying all the food, uh, especially because like I said, this adult beverage kind of makes you want to eat even more right <laughs> so they're like it's the cheese and it's the macaroni the macaroni cheese balls it's everything molly turns around and sees that one of the waiters are coming back in she's like yo they're coming back in we gotta go we gotta run so <laughs> so they run and they go and hide in the pantry you know torian puts one of the cheese balls in his jacket pocket <laughs> and they are just laughing He's like, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing? So they're just having a great old time. And, you know, Molly kind of like stops and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm, he's like, what's going on? She's like, yeah, you know, I, I just I'm having such a great time and I'm scared because, you know, I usually mess it up and people, you know, want to go away from me. And Torian's like, listen, I, I, it's the opposite for me. At first I hated you, but now I'm really I'm really liking you. I'm really liking what's going on with us. So, you know, of course, they googly eye it up and they give a little kiss to each other, you know. So now we see Issa. She's throwing out the garbage and she turns around and boom, guess who she sees by surprise? It's your boy Lawrence. <laughs> and just like the last episode, he kind of surprises her. But this is real life. This is not a dream. It's not in her imagination. He's like, I'm sorry. You know, I surprised you. I just wanted to, you know, say what's up. She's like, yeah, I was throwing out the garbage, the basura or whatever. <laughs> he's like, hey, can we talk? You know, I want to talk to you. And she's like, OK. And he's like, listen, I just wanted to talk to you. He's like, why did you call me? And she's like, oh, that was a mistake. And she was like, was it a mistake that you called? He's like, nah, I meant to call you, but it was a mistake that I called you. I shouldn't have called you. So he was just like, hey, listen, you know, basically, I'm just letting you know. Um, that I, I want, I really miss you and I, I really love you. Like I, my life is not, I'm not happy without you in my life. So he starts going in about all of his feelings, you know, everything that his cousin said to him about him not fighting. Now he's trying to fight for his love, for the relationship and everything else like that. He's like, I understand, you know, why you left and everything because I was having a baby. But, you know, like I'm alone right now. And I miss you and I love you. And she's like, listen, I can't really do this right now. And she kind of tries to walk away, but he stops her from walking around him. And he's like, I, I just want you to know this. Like, you know, I'm willing to fight for us, really to, willing to fight for everything. And he kind of goes in and she's like, listen, I can't do this right now. Like, not right now. Like, this is not the place for us to talk about this. And she's kind of like, you know, backing him off like, yo, we can, you know, like we don't have to talk about this right now. And he's really going in expressing his love for her, man. And it's kind of like she, this is what she wanted to hear. But it's just bad timing. You know, Nathan's there. Everybody's there. And he's like, listen, bottom line, you know, I'm not happy without you. I'm really not happy without you. And I love you. As soon as he says that, Nathan's like, what's going on here? It's like, ah, oh, man. <sighs> wow. So Issa's like, listen, we just had a conversation. We were ending our conversation. And, he, and Lawrence is like, nah, we're not done with our conversation. And Nate is like, yeah, you, it seems like you are done with the conversation. She so don't want to talk no more. He's like, yeah, you know, Lawrence is like, yo, you, you keep getting in my space. I was like, what? So Nate is not having it. Nate is like, yo, listen. I'm calm right now, but we can turn up. So, man, they about to start arguing. And Molly comes out, hear what's going on. <laughs> and really, they start pushing each other, right? They they kind of push East out the way. And they kind of going in 
back and forth. They're not fighting, but they kind of like just really arguing and yelling and everything. It's like, yo, what's going on? Yo, East is trying to calm Nate down. Lawrence is like, yo, you keep it, you know, getting in the way and all of this and that. And they about the brawl. They about the brawl. You see Issa holding Nate's arm back and Torian comes over to kind of back off Lawrence and they keep pushing each other and it gets real intense. And Issa's like, calm down, Nate. Calm down, calm down. And he yells at her and says, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm good. And then he realizes instead of yelling at Lawrence, he's now yelling at Issa. So he, she's like, man. So he's like, let me cool off. And she's trying to grab him. And he's like, just give me a minute. Just, just give me a minute to cool down. And again, really, it's not Issa's fault. Um, but Lawrence, you know, being there and that whole vibe and everything, really, you know, they're trying to keep it cool. But Lawrence is trying to confess his love for her. And, of course, Nate is not happening. Right. Nate is not having it. Everybody's looking on like this is awkward. Issa's like, what am I going to do? Like she is the common denominator here. Right. You know, Lawrence loves her. Nate and Nate loves her as well. Molly's like, are you OK? Is everything all right? And again, Issa's feeling bad about that whole situation. Like she knows that she still loves Lawrence and his unresolved issues. But she loves Nate as well and they're trying to move forward. So she's fighting with the feelings of the past and the future that she wants with Nate. So that is the recap of episode nine. Man, that was definitely intense. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your theories on this. Let me know your opinions. Did I miss anything? Absolutely. This was a very intense episode. And I want to hear your thoughts on this. Like, seriously, we are coming down to the last episode for this season, this final season of Insecure. A lot going on in this. So I want, definitely want to hear your opinions and your thoughts on it. So you know what it is, fam. It's your man, VKJ. I love and appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. And until next time, salute.